Hello, everyone. Today, the public health officer of Alameda County, along with six other Bay Area County public health officers, issued a joint shelter in place order in an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. This order to remain in our residences is effective beginning at midnight tonight and will continue in effect until April 7, when the situation will be reassessed. I know that some of these measures will significantly disrupt people's day-to-day -day lives, but they are absolutely necessary to slow the spread of this disease. Scientific evidence shows that it is essential to slow virus transmission as much as possible to protect the most vulnerable members of our community and prevent our healthcare system from being overwhelmed. We all have a responsibility to do our part to protect ourselves and our neighbors and slow the spread of this virus by staying at home unless it is absolutely essential to go outside and I'll explain what that means. Finally, I want to encourage everyone to remain calm. All of the essential needs of our island will continue to be met. Alameda has overcome major challenges before and we will do so again as we face this public health crisis together. Here are some of the significant sections of the order. So essential activities, which are exemptions to the shelter in place order, include tasks essential to maintain health and safety, such as obtaining medicine or seeing your doctor or healthcare provider, getting necessary services or supplies for yourself or your family or household members, including food, pet food, and supplies necessary for staying at home. Grocery stores will be open, so there is no need to binge shop. Engaging in outdoor activities is permitted, such as walking, hiking, or running, provided you maintain at least six feet of social distancing. And I encourage you to do, do this because it's just healthy to get outside and exercise. You are also allowed to care for a family member in another household, care for elderly, minors, dependents, persons with disabilities, or other vulnerable persons and individuals may leave their place of residence to operate an essential business, which includes healthcare operations, including home health workers, or to work in essential infrastructure, and this includes construction of housing and operation of public transportation and utilities. Also open will be grocery stores, farmers markets, food banks, convenience stores, that uh, sell food, as well as pharmacies, healthcare supply stores, and healthcare facilities. Also open will be gas stations, auto repair facilities, and banks, and hardware stores, plumbers, electricians, and other service providers necessary to maintain safety and sanitation. Laundromats, dry cleaners, and laundry service providers will continue to function. Restaurants will be open, but only for delivery or carry out, and customers in line must maintain the social distance of six feet from the next customer. And also businesses that ship or deliver groceries, food, and goods directly to residents will continue to operate. Child care facilities providing services that enable essential employees to go to work will stay open. And finally, exemptions include performing an essential government function needed to ensure the continuing operation of government agencies and provide for the health, safety, and welfare of the public. We will post additional information as it becomes available at www.alamedaca.gov alerts. Thank you all for doing your part to protect our community.